What's happening folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm Andy the Electric Geek and in for an unboxing today we have Second Sight's release of Drive on 4K. This is a 2011 movie directed by Nicholas Wending Refn and I think it's a bit of a modern classic, I'm sure you'll agree. If you're watching this there's a good chance you've seen it, you've got it on Blu-ray already. But yeah, there was an option this time around from Second Sight, you could have this super cool, I have to say, uber cool so far uh, box set for £54.99 or you could at least get the standard 24 99 uh, edition which came out in tandem with it and of course there was the Blu-ray so pretty cool that they didn't kind of back into a corner to get the special edition if you just wanted the, the regular one you could get that straight away without having to wait but let's not hang about, let's get in about it and give you a good look in 4K of course at what this box set consists of Now we have the cellophane off, so it's got a quite, you can see in the light there, it's got quite a nice glossy finish to it. And you've got the golden scorpion with the kind of, the neon kind of purple pink light that's synonymous with the movie's artwork. So, quick look at the specs. So on the back, um, you'll see that this presentation comes with Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos for the soundtrack, which will be awesome for that soundtrack. And obviously you've got the Ultra HD and the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray will be coded uh, to Region B, so anyone ordering it from overseas, just keep that in mind. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll, hold it, I'll put that on screen there, and you can pause it if you like and get a good look uh, at everything that's on it, special features wise, but we'll go into that shortly. Let's take this off and have a good look at the box set. So there's no glue or anything. It's just as is. Yes, yeah, so you've got the second sight logo on the spine, really nice, clean. Uh, lettering for drive, that's going to look really nice in a collection whether you've got it just sitting on a shelf or if it's in a library the spine's nice and clean, really cool and that's what you want for something for drive isn't it, it's such an uber cool movie but yeah I think that's a, a little personal message from the director on the back and just scan reading it, I'm loving the last line there drive is imperfect because I am imperfect it is 100% me, a blank canvas with a touch of pink neon <laughs> really cool and then you see you've got drive again on the, the kind of inside spine if you like so this will come out as so so this comes out and as you can see this is a hefty old set I mean it's a premium product it's I haven't got it open yet and I'm already liking it but this comes with the original novel that the book was based on which I didn't even realise it was based on a novel until I started reading about this before I ordered it, so I was really keen to read it, so yeah, it's 54 99 but you're getting a lot with it, so as you can see kind of continuing on with the same theme, but this time you've got the car, even the spine's similar and I'm really looking forward to having a read at this I think it's 180 pages or something 89 pages, so not a lot, it doesn't look like too dense, it looks like it's quite an easy read, so really looking forward to reading that and seeing the kind of you know, where their original inspiration came for the movie and how, how close the movie follows it. But anyway, that's your book, so really cool for that one. So that's like a paperback form. This is the hardback book. I think this is like 300 odd pages. That's a free look. Yeah, just over 200, like 240 odd pages. Really nice, again, the gloss finish. You've got the, the hammer on the front this time. Just super cool. So just having a look through. I'm not actually 100% sure what's in this book, but just looking at the contents. So you've got various different storyboards for the different scenes in the movie. An exclusive interview with Drive author James Salas. Yeah, so very much like a bit of a love letter to this movie. And there's a, a bit of an entourage of film critics and whatnot that have made their way, certainly in words, onto this book. So yeah, really looking forward to sitting through that as well. I love storyboards, I love looking through storyboards and seeing how closely the film ends up following them but yeah, really looking forward to getting about that, yeah that's, that's quality, I mean you'd buy that book if you're a fan of driving this book was made available on its own you would buy that so to get it included in the set for 50 quid, 54 quid isn't that bad I don't think and then some really cool shots towards the back of the book from the film itself really nice 
don't want to go full spoiler here, I appreciate it if you're watching this, you maybe want to see some of this for yourself, so I'll just give you a little bit of a taste. But yeah, that's what's involved in the hardback book, and obviously your, your, your essays and whatnot from film critics. But yeah, really, really good. Really looking forward to that, so that's nice. And then we have our art cards, so do what you like with these. My art cards just tend to stay in the box sets, I have to say, but I've always had uh, good intention anyway of actually doing something with them. So having a quick look, the driver himself, Carrie Mulligan's character, standard, Oscar Isaac, God, he was hardly known then. Brian Cranston, God, just looking through these, you forget just how fantastic a cast it was. Can't remember the actor's name, but he's, he's fantastic and it's so intimidating. Ron Perlman, Christina Hendricks. Yeah, it was definitely a bit of a who's who of the time, certainly, and obviously they went on to do some really cool stuff. But yeah, those art cards are nice, nice glossy finish on them. Nothing on the back, just some really nice prints, which you can make a nice album out of if you wanted to. And then the film itself. So you have your Blu-ray and, of course, your 4K. And some nice artwork there as well. Some plastic, but in keeping with the rest of the design, just have a good look, see if there's anything underneath. Nothing underneath, just the kind of slate grey design. Yeah, that's maybe my only criticism of it. Not, I think it's a fantastic set, but my only criticism maybe be just that, you know, we could at least have maybe got a, an Amory case in there. Steelbook would have been the icing on the cake, obviously, but still nice with like the watch and you know, there's different iconic items on, on each kind of part of the box set. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. I think 54.99 is a very fair price. It's very premium feeling. You get loads of stuff with it. It's definitely one for collectors and I've got no, no regrets whatsoever over picking that up. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this awesome 4K drive box set from Second Sight. As I say, I love it. Um, let me know, have you picked up yourself? Are you getting the standard one? Or are you just hanging tight with the standard Blu-ray? I will be doing a full deep dive 4K review of this and I'll be comparing it with my original Blu-ray and I'll be giving that Blu-ray away. It's a pretty good mix still with a slipcover uh, for anyone who wants it. So thanks for watching this video. Remember, if you enjoyed it, give it a wee like and please consider subscribing to the channel for more of this kind of content. Certainly if you want to see the review of Drive on 4K itself. Alright, I've been Andy Electric Geek. Thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.